हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टीन अमाइंस इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अमाइंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन द फर्स्ट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी वी शैल स्टडी लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट फॉर अमाइंस द टेस्ट फॉर अमाइंस एज बेस विल बी डन विथ लिटमस पेपर इट विल टर्न द रेड लिटमस ब्लू एंड ब्लू लिटमस विल रिमेन एज इट इज on reaction with aqueous solution of strong mineral acid hcl it will give you a substituted ammonium chloride which on reacting with excess of naoh will give the amine back along with nacl and h2 next reaction will be a diazotization reaction which is also called as orange dye test to confirm the presence of amines in this test we take a primary amine in a test tube add into it 1 to 2 ml of concentrated hcl and then nano2 after shaking this mixture properly the solution is poured in test tube containing beta naphthalene naoh the formation of orange dye will indicate presence of aromatic primary amine note that during the whole process temperature of reaction mixture is maintained at 0 degree celsius by using a ice bath The second reaction is alkylation of amines also called as Hofmann's exhaustive alkylation. When a primary amine is heated with excess of primary alkyl halide it gives a mixture of secondary amine tertiary amine along with tetra alkyl ammonium halide. The reaction is RnH2 plus Rx gives R2NH that is a nitrogen atom in primary amine is substituted by R group This secondary amine plus Rx gives R3N that is the hydrogen remaining in the secondary amine is substituted by R group now the tertiary amine plus Rx gives tetra alkyl ammonium halide this tetra alkyl ammonium halide is also called as quaternary ammonium salts which are crystalline solids they are alkyl derivatives of ammonium salts in which the four hydrogen atoms are replaced by four alkyl groups the reaction is carried out in presence of mild base sodium hydrogen carbonate to neutralize the large quantity of hx which is formed as a by product further if the alkyl halide in this reaction is methyl iodide then the reaction is called as exhaustive methylation of amines for example when methyl amine is heated with excess of methyl iodide it gives tetramethyl ammonium iodide as shown in the reaction below third reaction is hofmann elimination when tetra alkyl ammonium halide is heated with moist silver oxide it gives a quaternary ammonium hydroxide which is a deliquescent crystalline solid and strongly basic in basic in nature like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide quaternary ammonium hydroxides on strong heating will undergo beta elimination to give an alkyne alkyl the least substituted alkene is obtained as major product which is in contrast to the sedgev elimination rule the hofmann elimination reaction is as follows nnn triethyl propyl ammonium iodide on reaction with moist silver oxide undergoes substitution of i minus by oh minus this nnn triethyl propane ammonium hydroxide on strong heating gives selective formation of ethene along with nn diethyl propyl amine so one of the ethyl branch attached to the nitrogen atom has got converted into ethene which is least substituted alkene now did you know that acetylcholine is a quaternary ammonium salt which occurs in nervous system and it functions as a neurotransmitter following it the structure of acetylcholine also quaternary ammonium salts are present in cationic detergents which we use in our house 
the fourth reaction is acylation of amines aliphatic and aromatic primary and secondary amines undergo this reaction when amines are treated with acetyl chloride or acid anhydride in presence of strong base like pyridine then acetyl derivative of amine is obtained it is also called as amide amide is less basic than amines the reaction is ethanamine on reaction with ethanoyl chloride which is commonly called as methyl chloride acetyl chloride in presence of pyridine gives formation of an adduct where the lone pair of nitrogen is donated to the carbonyl carbon this undergoes a loss of hydrogen chloride molecule to form an ethyl ethan amide benzoyl chloride when treated with acetyl chloride gives an aromatic amide as follows n methyl aniline on treatment with acetyl chloride in presence of pyridine will give you a product n methyl n phenyl ethan amide so it's very clear that the hydrogen from the amine and chlorine from the acetyl chloride they combine and condense out to form the byproduct hcl forming a new nitrogen carbonyl bond that is a amide linkage the acylation is a nucleophilic substitution reaction pyridine used in this reaction will neutralize the acid produced as a byproduct fifth reaction is carbyl amine reaction aliphatic or aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform give foul smelling products which are called as alkyl or aryl isocyanides or carbyl amines the reaction is rnh2 plus chcl3 that is chloroform plus three molecules of potassium hydroxide gives you rnc that is alkyl isocyanide plus 3 kcl plus 3 h2o this reaction is a test for primary amines secondary and tertiary amines do not give this test it means that if in your test tube you have a primary amine and to it if you add chloroform and potassium hydroxide and you get a foul smell from the test tube it will indicate that your test tube had a primary amine sixth reaction is with nitrous acid primary secondary and tertiary amines react differently with nitrous acid so this test is a distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary amines aliphatic primary amines on reaction with nitrous acid forms aliphatic diazonium salts which are very unstable and they decompose by reaction with solvent water to form the corresponding alcohol nitrogen gas is liberated in this reaction the reaction is as follows rnh2 plus hno2 at 273 to 278 kelvin that is 5 degree celsius the hydrogen nitrous acid formed in this reaction is in situ that is sodium nitrite plus hcl are reacting in the test tube itself to form the nitrous acid it will give you alkyl diazonium chloride that is rn2 plus cl minus this on further reaction with water gives you alcohol that is roh nitrogen gas is released and hcl is formed further aromatic primary amines react with nitrous acid to form diazonium salts which have reasonable stability at 273 kelvin that is aniline plus hno2 gives benzene diazonium chloride at 273 to 278 kelvin aryl diazonium salts are resonance stabilized as follows so in the resonating structures it is clear that the positive charge on nitrogen is stabilized by donation of electrons from the pi electrons of benzene ring that's all for the chemical properties of amines thank you for watching the video stay tuned for our next video